look as get a point? Um, yeah, we um, lived a little bit dangerously a couple of times in the second half. I'd say that in the first half as well. Um, so um, there's no doubt that uh, we are not the team that we were or performing to you know to the heights that we were. Let's say. Um, probably even three or four weeks ago, and uh, it, you know we've had a good conversation in the dressing room after the game, and uh, trying to get to the root of that because um, you know we can perform better. We know that we've shown that this season. It's important. Um, with what 15 games to go, you're approaching what a third of the season left. That you know the opportunity is still there, and uh, it's it's important that we uh, we go out and grab it and not wait for somebody to uh, to hand it to you. Every team always has a good patch and a bad patch of the season. Yeah, yeah. Are you saying this is your bad patch? Well, I mean, we've had a blip before, haven't we, where we lost three on the trot, um, which is around October time. Now we've lost two and drawn one, so uh, yeah, at least it didn't turn into three. But uh, um, it, it, we had a good conversation, a long conversation, because I, I, I just asked them one question, and uh, you have to be totally honest with yourself as a group of people, and obviously, you know, all the fans will be, uh, you know, watching this or... or, or or finding out, you know, what I'm thinking, and we have gone off the boil. There's, there's no getting away from that. And we, uh, you know, we've searched. We've had a good conversation about why we've gone off the boil because it has been collectively. And um, I just think that we're starting the games okay more than not in the first 10 minutes. You know, you're starting to go through the gears. But I've always said to you that the first 20, 25 minutes is the key in any game. It sets the momentum for the game. And for some reason, we're, we're getting to probably about third gear after about 12, maybe 15 minutes, 10 t in between 10 and 15 minutes. And then we're, we're not seeming to push any further um, in football in terms. And that's the frustrating part. That's what's holding us back. And uh, uh, hence, we're not uh, you know, moving the ball around the park as well as we can do. We're not getting to the final third or showing the quality in the final third that we have done. And let's face it, I mean, the majority of these players are the players that have been here this season. The majority of the players who have shown in performances this season. Um, and... I asked him to just remember one because you can't remember every league game that you played in, whether at home or away, but everybody remembers one that stands out. And, and you think about the Burton game in the FA Cup away and, uh, and how we performed, how we played on the front foot. And that's what we've got missing at the moment. And it's important that collectively we get, to that, we get back to that as, uh, as, 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 a, as a team and obviously as a squad. The last three matches have been against teams who are at the lower end of the table. Yeah. Do you think that's a little bit in the team's minds that they're a bit lower than us and take the foot off the bell? I don't. No, I don't believe that. I mean, because I wouldn't have thought that as a footballer. You, you, you don't think, you know, you don't walk up and think, oh, it's going to be an easy game. If, if you do, you're a fool. And not being funny, I'd never go down that road. I'd never sense it either. But um, what, what? I mean, if you look at the games that we played recently, uh, Workington, you've got Corby in that, you've got Gloucester in that. Although we won both goals at home. Um, you know, and today, the teams that the work for the position very, very quick, very hard. Sorry, and if you don't move the ball around the park quickly enough, then you, they're, they're going to be difficult to break down. And uh, that, you know, that's where we're uh, we're we're missing a little bit. We're not we, we, we're not showing the momentum in our play. I mean, we didn't work their keeper enough today, did we? Let's be honest. And like you rightly pointed out, that you know, Stuart saved us a couple of times, and uh, you know, uh, <laughs> it could have been. Um, more than um, you know, two points uh, dropped. But that's where we have to get back to. We have to get back to the team that plays on the front foot against, like, as an example, everybody knows, like Burton in the FA Cup away, where you know we were going for the game. And uh, it's important that the players show no fear because, like I said, there's still what a third of the season left to go. Ben Mills played his first match today. Is that not long for a month? Yeah, it's a long for a month. Yeah. Um, yeah. Opportunity to uh, to uh, to bring a different kind of forward in. I know we've got uh, other forwards at the club, but Ben Mills is uh, is more of a probably a physical uh, aspect that uh, we we haven't got in at the moment. And he's a strong runner as well. You know, into those channels, holds the ball up well. And uh, I thought I thought he did okay. I thought he did well today. You know, and uh, he was just beginning to tar, which we expected to after about 60 or 70 minutes because uh, um, he hasn't played for uh, for a couple of weeks. But you know, I thought I thought he did okay. Going on to next week now. You got away on Tuesday and on next Saturday. Yeah. Going to get six points from them. Well, you, I, I said to the players, <coughs> excuse me, before the game, <coughs> let's just deal with today's game because otherwise you can look too far down the road, can't you? Think, oh, I'll get three points here, a point there, three points, three. You can, no, just deal with what's first in front of you. And the, the thing in front of us is obviously Gloucester away on Tuesday, and then we'll deal with the game after that when that game is finished. You know, we just need to start, uh, you know, picking up the points again. Last thing before you go, uh, in the news about Duncan Watmore being locked up from uh, Peterborough, what's any news on that? 
No, 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 not so ever. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure the club will, uh, you know, let let uh, supporters know. I mean, uh, you know, people will come and watch Duncan, but uh, you know, and, and you know, we've got to speculate on anything. Um, you know, there's nothing that. Uh, N the supporters should know or nothing new. It's in, you know it's important that uh, you know while it stays the same, then Duncan just concentrates on his uh, on his uh, you know uh, performance at Altrincham and obviously studies as well. So, okay, Lee, thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers,